Welcome to Open Legacy. This video demonstrates just how easy it is to deploy an Open Legacy based project to the AWS cloud. We show you just how quickly you can expose a backend mainframe program to the cloud as a modern REST API using the AWS Fargate and API Gateway services. We begin by creating a new mainframe-based SDK project. We configure our mainframe backend connectivity parameters Using backend COBOL source files, we generate Java models or entities. When we have completed our SDK project, we can create a Docker-based API project. We quickly define the API for getting user credit card details, defining the inputs and the outputs. Next, we compile the project into a resulting jar file. Then we build a Docker image containing the application jar file. Now we need to switch to the AWS console and using the ECR service, create a new registry for our Docker image. Then, using the hints provided, we can easily tag and push the image to the new repository. Returning to the AWS console, we verify that the image was uploaded. We copy its reference name. We'll need it in a moment. Based on our image, we create a new task definition using the Fargate launch option to configure resources, the container for the tasks, and also our 8080 port mapping to expose it in the container. Now that we have our task defined, we need to configure a new cluster where it will run. We quickly check the cluster after it was provisioned.
Now we switch to the EC2 console to provision a new network load balancer. We provide the name, external port, and private network binding. Next, we create a target group definition. Verify configuration and click Create. Returning to our cluster definition, let's create a new service using the ECS console to provide the name of the service and the cluster we previously configured. We add the network configuration, verify all parameters and click Create. We can see that one instance of our application is already starting. Now that our service is up and running, we can start configuring the AWS API Gateway. We move to the API Gateway console. First, we configure the VPC link. This will allow us to reach our service through the load balancer from the Gateway. While the VPC link is being provisioned, we can start designing our API. We create the resource. Now let's configure our API method to retrieve credit card information from the mainframe for a specific user. Let's test our API method from the AWS console. We successfully received the response from the backend, which means our integration is almost complete. Now we must deploy our newly designed API. It's time for external end-to-end -end testing. We export the API definition and then import it to Postman where we can easily check service conformity. Using test input, we can verify if the backend responds correctly. and it seems that our API is working fine. In this video, we have shown you how quick and easy it is to integrate with a legacy mainframe backend, deploy the integration service to AWS, and expose it to the cloud using the AWS API Gateway. Thank you for watching.
If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us at our website, www.openlegacy.com.